Ladies and gentlemen, we have been waiting for this moment for a very, very long time. The Eden Community Project have gave me permission to film how they turn real vegetables into real soup with no gimmicks and no magic. The only magic you're going to see is me. So let me take you through, ladies and gentlemen, to the Eden Community Project, the VIP, the specialist. Mwah! Let's go. I am going to show you now, ladies and gentlemen, how to make proper real soup on Sloggett Vision from the Eden Community Project. And this is this man. What is your name, great man? Gareth. Gareth, thank you, Gareth. And you want to shake your hand? Because it's pretty Gareth. And your name, sir? It's Chris. Chris, shine on. Thank you very much. You shine on yourself. And can you lovely men show Jaywick and the world how to make real soup with real products, please? What we are going to be doing now is a mushroom and oregano soup. Wonderful. We've got our ingredients. We're going to sweat it out in some oil. Once we get some colour on it, we're going to add some vegetable stock to it, and we're going to season it, blitz it down, and we're going to eat it. Thank you for showing us. And we can Thank watch you. you while you do this. Please do, please do. Thank Be you. Be careful, do not hate yourself a bit. Yes. Thank you, you're wonderful. You. And this is it, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to show you fly on the wall how this is created. So, what are you doing here, Gareth? So, hot oil, hot yep. pan. Yep. So, just sweat your vegetables off. Yep. So, we want to get them nice and soft. Yep. And then we'll put the vegetable stock in. Yep. And then we'll cover it. Water. Lovely. Put the vegetables and then we'll blend it down. With this bad boy? With this bad boy here. Whoa, look at that. Look at that. that. We won't have one like that at home. No, but we can imagine one we like that at home. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are amazing. Wow, and it's real just fresh vegetables. No, yeah. no tin, no rubbish. The real deal. This is the real deal soup, ladies and gentlemen. And like we were saying to you earlier, this is stuff that our suppliers would not be able to sell to the public, but it's more than decent to cook with. Yes. You prep it down, wash it, and look after your food, not a problem. Wow. It's absolutely spectacular. So now, you, how long does it normally take on average to melt down? Four or five minutes. So what? you just want to get a little bit of colour on. Yep. These mushrooms are 80% water. So what? the water's going to come out of them, and it will help soften the vegetables. Lovely. Put a lid on. And let it be. Get some heat in there. That's pretty much what we've done there. Is this one you made earlier? This is one we made earlier, so that'll take a little bit longer to cook. Lovely. Mushrooms cook in minutes. Okay, so what we want to do is cook the, the oregano, yep. the, the onion, the celery. Right. Get that cooked, vegetable stock in, water, bring it to the boil. So like I bet five minutes in? Yep, come back in five minutes. You're a lovely man and shine on to Gareth and the crew. Mwah. We love all of you, the Eden team. Shine on. Right, I'm ready for you now. Can I just keep it? Can I'm filming the soup? Can I just leave this over here? Why? Can I film me as well? Is that all right? Yeah, yeah I can hold. So, can you? Oh, there you go. We're live, sir. Just yeah. shine on, ladies and gentlemen. So you're we'll... going to be looking at me while Jake films you. Okay, you That's are a very right. lovely person to look at. Hi. <laughs> right. Cool. We are so, live. Um, could you please just tell me your name to start with? My name is Danny Michael Sluggett. And where have you travelled from? I have travelled from the heart of England, a place called the Costa del Jaywick, which is in Essex, near Colchester and Chelmsford. Lovely. Um, what made you want to take part in this community camp? I was asked, I was uh, invited by your lovely date, Diana, and she basically uh, got told by my name by someone, and she came to meet me um, a couple of weeks ago and told me what was going on here. So I asked if I could come along and be a part of this amazing project. And I'll tell you what, my eyes are so wide, I don't think they're going to fit in my head. <laughs> so what has been your favourite session today and why? All of the sessions I've really enjoyed because I've actually learned something every time and I can't single one out in particular because when I came to this project, I thought that I knew everything already, everything that I need to know about life. But today I have learned how to run a community business, I've learned about loneliness. I mean, you can say the word loneliness, but the way they explained it to me, your team, your crew, I am now ready to give lessons to the world. It's an amazing teaching opportunity for me, and it's amazing, it's amazing how I've learned so much today. And um, the community business team, I didn't realise that I was missing so many factors of. Even though I've run a social group for two years in Jaywick, with the Jaywick Sands Happy Club, which is like a youth club for adults, I, 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 there's certain things that I needed to know, which I found out today. Perfect. So it's just beyond. Mm. So how are you finding the Disco Soup event so far? Wow, the Disco Soup. I'm learning to make soup from nothing. 
real vegetables. You can't buy this in the tin. I'll tell you what, if we carry on, Heinz might be out of the business. <laughs> it's the best soup in the world, the Eden, the Eden Community Project, and this must continue forever. What it's done for me, the whole world needs to see this. I mean, if it's made someone from Joe this happy, it can make everyone all over the universe happy. Absolutely perfect. So why do you think these types of events are important within a community? Because the community needs to come together. And these events are very, very important because we need people to come together. And this is exactly how it should be done. Perfect. Fun. Okay, so finally, what's your favourite soup and what's your favourite disco song? My favourite disco song is probably, um, I like so many, um, I can't think, uh, my favourite disco song, uh, um, can I just say I love them all? Absolutely. I mean I you do love, love music. yeah I love all like 70s music, you know, Shaka Khan and all that and I love, I love, I love all disco music and my favourite soup used to be tomato soup until I tasted the Eden Community Projects onion, parsnip and garlic soup, which is now one of my favourite soups ever. Brilliant, perfect, thank you very much. Thank you, and I'd just like to say the Eden Community Project is for everyone forever. Shine on everybody. Mwah. Thank you. Perfect. And this is my cameraman, what's your name? Jake. Nice to meet you Jake, nice shine you on. Too. And your name? Catherine. Thank you Catherine, and thank you for everything. Love you lots. Bye. Shine on guys. So we're going to go back and check on our suit now, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, we're all doing what we do do, all around. All right, Gareth, are you ready for me, guys? Chris, Gareth? Yeah. Are you ready for a bit of sloggit vision? Let's get over here. Let's get over here. Like, here he goes. Basically, what we've done now. Yes. Vegetable stock here. Yep. Hot water. What sort of vegetable stock so they know everything? We don't want to hide nothing from them. At home, just go to Manchester, buy an answer. One of them, like... Little cube. Yeah, little cube. We don't want to tell you what cube could that be advertising misleading. <laughs> but I'm starting my own brand of stock cube, so. Yeah, get Chris's. <laughs> Chris's stock cube. Chris's stock cube. There he is, Chris. Shoes half stock cube. Yes. Yes. Really yep. Shoes are half. You can't take it out. So just normal water, a stock cube, and all of these lovely vegetables. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you're getting this. Loads of. Boil it up. Five minutes. And that's it. And we'll bring it down, salt, pepper, oh, you, you cut it down after? Yep. Cook so, it. Five minutes. Yep. That'll be done. Have a blend it. Okay. Yep. Season it. Serve it. Can you actually serve it up without blender in it? Yeah. You can do if you want to eat it like that at home. Yep. Absolutely fine. But you don't be, need a blender. No, you it's just it like own pre preference. It's just pre presentation. Gareth, you have taught everybody in Jaywick and hopefully the world how to make proper, real soup. And as Colesberg says, this is probably the best soup in the world ever. Gareth, thank you. You're a lovely, kind man. And shine on to you. And to Chris, sorry to interrupt. Thank you for teaching me to make soup. And shine on to you, Chris. Shine on to you, my friend. And that is, ladies and gentlemen, how to make the best soup in the world ever.